Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Hextech Revolver here. I'm going to be showing you this brand new jungle path that I came up with. And what we're going to be starting is Machete, one health potion, and one control ward. And I'm going to show you why in a moment. And this is a really, really good path. You can actually get Skirmisher's Blade at three minutes using this method. And I'm going to be showing you exactly the strategy behind it. So... First things first, we want to put our vision ward in a good spot. You don't want to put it high up in this bush. You want to put it in the lower corner right around here. If you put it too high, it'll be blocked off by the wall. And what we want is two things. This is, first of all, we can teleport to this later. And second of all, we can see if anyone tries to take this red. So we can tell mid and bot to collapse or we can go duel them ourselves if we can't rely on them. And this is going to be with no leash. And actually, I don't think you really need a leash on Yorick. And a good thing about doing no leash is that your bot lane is free to push for level 2 a lot faster than your bot lane that does leash. So that's another big advantage to playing Yorick. And I'm starting Q instead of E because this whole jungle clear path is based on maximum DPS from the ghouls. Although the max health uh, damage is nice, I feel like this is better. I'm also not going to be kiting because I'm... I want them to stay alive. It's three hits for the wolf and an auto attack reset with the Q. And that'll kill them. I'll kite a little bit now. Just to try to pull this a bit closer. One, two. Now I'm going to walk right inside this uh, blue and I'm going to wait for my little guys to catch up. See, I want him to hit me, so I maximize the DPS with the ghouls. We're actually going to save the smite for scuttle crab because it's the most dangerous and it takes the longest otherwise. Okay, so I'm like right inside of it. And I'm also waiting for them to catch up so they don't like leap ahead of me. Okay. If you want to do this extra fast, you can put an extra point in Q, but uh, this should be fast enough. 430 is my smite, so there we go. And I'm already in the bush. And as you can see, because of Futures Market, I can afford my saber already. And I'm over here, 258. Pretty sweet, huh? I recommend doing Krubix first because my smite is down. I don't want to get into a smite war with someone. You can have them um, tank here because you can easily get four ghouls off of this. The medium golems take uh, four hits. Just remember that. Four hits in an auto attack reset or five hits total. You can see I'm pretty healthy, and I have my smite. Can't really see it, but it's going down super fast. Look at this health. Now you can save smite, or you can use it. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter too much. If you want to maximize clear speed, then you just use it. And I replaced all my ghouls with this. So yeah, I'm sorry if I mess up anywhere. Here's another really cool thing. Guess what? The wolves are back. I don't really mind if he uh, kills that one. Well, I do mind if he kills that one. Ah, uh, fuck. I should have done three. So 440, and I'm level four with skirmishers. Now, if you want to keep going, you can wait just a little bit right here. And you'll get Gromp. And you can get level five, actually.
So 507, or I'm level 5, and I have 650 gold. And with Futures Market, guess what, guys? I can do double longsword. So 5 minute 20. Look at how strong I am. I got Skirmisher Saber, and I got double longsword. How much do I need for a warrior? I need 900 gold. So you can... You'll be so far ahead. Like if they tried to get off a gank and they failed, they'll probably be barely like level four. And you have red really late. Like, like the bad thing is like, I'm only gonna be able to use it if like I find them right here. Unfortunately, if I do the double long sword. But if you, if you stop a bit earlier, like if you stop at Raptors or stop at red, like you can gank with red and you can just do these camps later. But yeah, just uh, just thought I wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully you like it. Um, took me a couple of hours to work everything out. So if, I don't know. If you can show your appreciation with a like, be nice. But I understand if you don't like to do that kind of thing. Anyways, uh, peace out, guys. Later.